This is question one hundred forty four. From the following information, calculate return on investment or return on capital employed. The answer one hundred forty four. Working notes. Net profit before interest, tax, and dividend is equal to net profit before tax plus interest on ten percent long term borrowings. That is rupees six lakhs plus. Here long term borrowings is rupees twenty lakhs at ten percent. That is ten percent of twenty lakhs is rupees two lakhs. That is rupees six lakhs plus rupees two lakhs is equal to eight lakhs. This is net profit before interest and tax and dividend. Then next one is capital employed is equal to share capital plus reserves and surplus plus ten percent long term borrowings. That is equal to rupees five lakhs. Plus rupees two lakh fifty thousand, plus rupees twenty lakhs, is equal to rupees twenty seven lakh fifty thousand. Now, our capital employed, we can find out in the other way alternative, that is net fixed assets plus non current trade investments plus current assets minus current liabilities, that is equal to rupees twenty two lakh fifty thousand, plus rupees two lakh fifty thousand, plus rupees eleven lakhs. Minus rupees eight lakh fifty thousand, either from liability side or like this from the asset side. That is equal to rupees twenty lakh twenty seven lakh fifty thousand. Now, the fair notes. This is return on capital, return on investment or return on capital employed. That is equal to net profit before interest, tax, and dividend. Whole divided by capital employed into hundred. That is equal to rupees eight lakhs upon rupees twenty seven lakhs fifty thousand into hundred. That is equal to twenty nine point zero nine percent approximately. And this is the final answer.